altcoins are crushing and you are probably wondering is it that bad let's look at this altcoin market cap on a daily chart and find the answers ready let's go this is daily chart of all the altcoins currently standing at 643 billion dollars <laughs> The measly weasley uptrend of altcoins is now over and I'm glad it is because this to me is nothing that's looking strong that's giving me vibes for the new upcoming alt season and I already spoke about it. Those choppy grinds to the upside are not the signs of strength. So this is over and yes we broke the downtrend. And yes, this could bring us now lower targets. But if you did pay attention to my previous video about altcoins, I gave you the level, the most important level, that yet isn't broken. Check this out. 640 billion dollars. You got it here, right? And as you can see, we still haven't breached this level of support. Will we breach it? For now we don't know. This kind of resistance was far too strong just to break it one try. Maybe now altcoins should try to go lower for you to buy them, right? But maybe you won't get that. Because if you are closely watching at this chart and you know the basic principle of technical analysis, you are not scared, you are excited because what you are saying is this. right heavy support don't neglect this zone as nothing this is very important line of support 640 billion in all the altcoins resistance 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 all this way yeah we had some slams to the upside but it doesn't change the picture this is after the breakout just a bullish retest if we are watching this picture i'm still putting my hopes into this line of support and resistance because those are one of the most important factors in determining where the price would go so at this moment no altcoins are not bearish yes this candle is not looking pretty but if we stay at this level that's it, we corrected and now we are ready for a new come to the upside. I'm not sure will I be correct, I'm just laying out my thoughts, right? Now your subjective perspective, if this line is broken, it's just that, a subjective perspective. It's not objective because I drew it like this. Do you believe this is an upward trending channel that is now broken? It could be. This is ruining the picture, let's say it like that. Maybe we are just having one outburst like we had here. Maybe because of that, this channel is still alive. We don't know for now. But pay sure attention that if we go back into the channel that is really, really bullish in the next few days. You don't have much time. And I said subject because you can draw those channels the way you like it. Maybe you want something like this. to some extent this channel is also valid we are respecting those points of support right nothing is still broken support 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 just today support man and uh, yeah those unsustainable rallies are just that unsustainable so still a lot of indecision it's all up to you how do you want to draw it i would stick to the 640 
that would be my line in the sand if we break it to the downside then it's gonna be a lot uglier for now we can see rebound and continue living inside of this channel using fibonacci i just want to give you one level let's keep it simple that is if we break 640 640 is not a fibonacci level but using it like this well we could go to 38.2 percent to 628 there that's the next level of retracement if we are going to retrace beyond 640 now look at this moving average support band now which one you want to choose uh, 21 if we choose 21 support band of ema and ma it's not good that means the shorter momentum is on the side of the bears because this band is above the price that is 654 billion dollars there a big resistance i'm guessing it's big resistance yes it is because all of this area look at this it was a support so this band is no joke we're talking short term so based on this picture it's not looking good but if i erase all this and just put 34 it's good i mean we are right at that support this is 34 what's happening the way it should be happening we have found our support and it's not that we never touched it we found our support on this band right here also before the big pump to the upside i mean not big but this so support at the round 643 and 654 as i said the resistance so we are now in right that indecision land i can't speak any clearer because it's really not clear what's going on in the charts yes downside risk exists yes we could rebound from this level and the charts are showing those are the facts man we haven't broke the structure if you want to use 34 moving average band we are still above it right and we are not making divergences i'm talking about rsi look at this rsi retraced because a few days ago we had touched the area of overbought so in the short term altcoins were overbought at this area and this were calling to some kind of a danger sign you know don't be extreme it's definitely not the time to invest at those levels when you have an rsi overbought now we have cooled off but if we take into account this kind of price action and uh, rsi from that region something like this I'm not seeing that much of a divergence in the strength and the price. So this is a good sign. If anything else, I will give you hidden bullish divergence. Price found higher low but the rsi is finding lower low this is a bullish divergence hidden it's really not that easy to spot so one more proof that i'm not that bearish on the current happenings in the charts we are holding support yes we broke this short-term uptrend but we are holding support at that 640 which is crucial on that 34 ema ma band rsi is not showing me nothing unusual so don't get too surprised when you see a new bounce to the upside play careful but if you want to go to the upside well now could be the time high risk high rewards see you in the next video